YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world and this time we are going over to the Philippines. Now, this was recommended to me. Yeah, recommended to me and I, so I don't know where I am. It's, it's kind of familiarised. I'm not too... I need your help. I really do. So look, this is um, Arnold um, Pineda. Wait a minute. I want to make sure that I'm pronouncing his surname right. Pineda. Pineda. That's where Arnold Pineda. And this is a song called Faithfully, live in Melina. And it says, this film catches a Johnny concert in the SM um, uh, Mall of Asia in Manila, um, Philippines on March the 14th, 2009. Yes, yeah, so that's how far back I'm going back into this catalogue. 2009. It marks the return of a hometown, uh, hometown of a band, then newly arrived singer and frontman Arnold uh, Pineda. Um, Johnny delivers an inspiration performance of a front of an adoring crowd as they play a set of greatest hits uh, with tracks from their 2008 album, um, Revelations. Um, this is a must-have for uh, any Journey fan. So this is the Journey. Now, is this the same person, the Journey, who done a... Um, where Ed Sheeran wrote, them a, uh, wrote a song for them? Is that the, the one? If that is, then I think I have heard... Apologies, I am so... The world is so big. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. The world is so big. And I have yet to... Um, uh, I'm still at skimming the surface of finding artists who are brilliant. So even though this is, you know, going back in 2009, if I haven't heard this song before, it's still... I, and it amazes me. It's like the first time, it's, you know, it's the first time I'm hearing it. So it's like a new track to me. So that's the brilliant thing that I have above everybody else that has listened to this song. So look, let me go straight into my next reaction of today. Journey, 2 million subscribers. Where have I been? Apologies. Anyway, without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Okay, I was expecting that. Ooh, that's some lovely chords right there. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. So straight off the cuff. It sounds like an ABBA song going to play. No disrespect. This is like the first time I'm listening to the song. Run, Wait a minute. It's to the midnight sun. And he's from the Philippines. I'm going to go back. Everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. What's going on? I love when I love when I'm being hit for six. I love it when I'm being hit for six. This song's called Faithfully. I'm not too sure if I said that to you. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Take a deep breath and just suck all this in. Because this is beautiful. I'm going to go back a little bit i pause so i can pause within myself and knock myself out of that pause moment you saw me i was like because i was i was lost for words and i had to slap myself back into it and the only way to do that is to press pause and say right okay what's going on that's what's going on <laughs> regardless if i like it or not that happened 
back in 2009. I don't even know what's going on now with them. I have to react to a now and then kind of thing. So this is my then. And I have no idea what song they've got out now, but I'm certainly going to react to it. I'm not going to do a back-to-back. -back. I'll put it on my playlist, then I'll react to it. What? I'm going back just a little bit. What the heck? There's so many brilliant answers just running through my mind right now. Look at the emotions he's bringing out. So that was Arnold Pininda. Wait a minute, let me go back to Google Translate. Pineda. Pineda. There you go. There you heard it. It said Pineda. So Journey, song called Faithfully, front um, singer, um, newly arrived, it said, um, Arnold Pineda. I, I, did I do it wrong again? How can I get it wrong so many times? Pineda. Pineda. There you go. Pineda. Pineda. He blew my mind. 
straight away blew my mind. I don't know how old he is. I don't know anything about um, this particular artist. I don't, I, in my back of mind, I believe that I have reacted to him before or heard of his name before somewhere. But he just blew, that's like an old soul right there. And the, the reason why I was saying like, must be some kind of a gospel background because he was hitting those gospel notes. You feel, I mean, don't get me wrong, rock and roll is absolutely amazing. You know the connection between rock and roll and blues. And then you know the connection between blue and, blues and gospel. Um, so you know th there's that kind of circle. But what I'm talking about, taking away, where is his upbringing? Is that church somewhere? Well, I, I don't know, because that's some, ser that's some serious old soul. That you, that's, that's born with that talent, not like trained. That's born. Always had that, you know, since birth. You know, when he cried, it was love. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I should have done that instead. Um, but yeah, it was absolutely a beautiful thing. I think what took me straight away was the the key notes um, when the man was playing the piano. And that set me in the road to a lovely place where, where I was thinking, look, because you saw the stage, you saw what was going on. I was expecting like, well, you know what I said. And... Rah, um, but I got totally the opposite. What I got was a lovely kind of semi-ballad, semi, it was almost classical, you know, on the, on the borderline of operatic and classical and, and ballad, as well as the, you know, the, the um, you know, the schematics of rock and roll. But all that fusion, um, he can do much more than just rock and roll. He's, you know, his bread and butter is rock and roll, but you can hear him in his vocals. He can do a hell of a lot more outside of rock and roll. You give him any kind of uh, song outside of rock and roll and he would do it as, um, as, as justice as he, as he, if he was singing um, rock and roll. Do you know what would be amazing? Just by hearing his, um, his vocals, and maybe he's done it already, let me know about it. I would love to hear him do a Bob Marley song. Just by the text of his vocals, I would love any Bob Marley song. Any Bob Marley song. Maybe one with absolute, with a ballad Bob Marley that's got some true meaning to it and subsidence. But I feel that he would absolutely smash a Bob Marley song. I really, really would. Uh, let me know if he's done a reggae song or anything like that. And I will definitely try and find it. No matter how old he's done, it could be like, you know, he said newly. So what was he doing before he was the front man of um, Journey? And if if he has, if there's anywhere in his catalogue where he's done a reggae song, I'm sure he's sung a Bob Marley song. Who doesn't know a Bob Marley song? You know, rock, rock and roll artists don't know a Bob Marley song. <laughs> Let me know about that. But yeah, pleasantly surprised. Absolutely brilliant. Um... And certainly this is my journey <laughs> into what is the journey. And faithfully, um, brilliant. Amazing. For that reason, I salute you. Boomer. Yeah.